Hi, this is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands with a quick conflict management tip drawn from the world of aerospace where I previously was working as a lawyer many years ago. And that tip is test as you fly, fly as you test. Conflict often comes when pressures mount and situations don't seem to turn out as expected. I experienced my own years ago, I was in charge of an office and had a big visit from an important VV and we planned a very tight slide presentation to show the great work we were doing and we practiced it over and over again to have it in perfect polished form and tested it with our video slides projected and made sure that worked. But what we didn't do was practice for what happens when the projection doesn't work, which as we sadly know, is Murphy's Law in action, which is exactly what happened when our DV was sitting there ready to receive our presentation. Our slides wouldn't show, and we stumbled and fumbled until we finally were able to press on with paper handouts. Everything worked out fine, but it was an important lesson to me about testing as you fly. When you test as you fly, you test for the breaking point, not for the win. So the old saying, failure is not an option, is not the right approach when it comes to testing for a situation you'll be addressing or planning for it. Look for the things, plan for the worst case scenario, and then practice what you'll do, whether that's a tabletop exercise or running through it like we might have done with our slides. It is not easy to identify all the things that can go wrong or even feel good but make sure that in your testing that you take into account all the worst possible things that can happen and practice them. Test for the whole process. NASA has learned and the aerospace industry has learned as a, the most beautiful components not tested together is a recipe for disaster as the integration is another opportunity for Murphy to intervene in your disadvantage. Next in, in thinking about testing as you fly. Resist the temptation to blame the test when, as you might expect, the test reveals the stress and things not working. It is easy in the moment when the stakes seem high to say, well, this, you know, test is, this situation is unrealistic or probably isn't going to happen, or it's always worked in the past. If you find yourself doing that, stop and practice as if it's sure to happen even when you've had similar processes in the past and they always worked out fine. Don't look at past successes in the testing phase or the planning phase as, a, as a, some sort of recipe or guarantee for success in the future. Last, when it's finally showtime and the plan of the thing that you've tested is in effect, don't look for last minute tweaks. It's so tempting to add something at the last minute which seems like a small thing, but that's the fly as you test part. Don't add things that are another opportunity for Murphy to break and for stress and conflict to intervene in success in your outcome. That's your quick conflict management tip from the University Ombuds at Cal State University Channel Islands. Thanks very much.